Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Adam Holmes and I'm an Applications Engineer with Solid Apps. In this video I'm going to show you some of the new enhancements in SOLIDWORKS 2019 and in particular I'm going to cover the enhancements made to tables, exporting to Excel and also setting up default saving locations. To demonstrate the new enhancements in SOLIDWORKS 2019 I'm going to create a drawing. I've got a predefined exploded view which I want to use in my 2D drawing. I'll create a drawing of it and select my template. With the template selected, I'll drag and drop my wanted view and change my scale. I can hide any unwanted items and change the display style in the settings. With my view positioned correctly, I can then select the Bill of Materials option. I can then position the Bill of Materials on my drawing, and then from the bottom right hand corner, drag and reposition the size. If I select the, the Bill of Materials, across the top, I can then change all the text to uppercase keeping things consistent. I can then use border edit which is the new feature in SOLIDWORKS 2019 to select edges and adjust the border thickness around the table, outlining the outside of the table. This allows me to outline the rows and columns a lot better. Another new enhancement in SOLIDWORKS 2019 is a new feature when exporting to Excel. If I save the bill of materials as an Excel document and include the option thumbnails as below, when I now open the Excel document I get a preview of all the other parts in one of the columns, as shown down on the left hand side. This also brings in any of the metadata which was populated in the columns, such as quantity and description. Another new enhancement in SOLIDWORKS 2019 can be found in the system options file locations. With inside the drop down, there is now a new option called default save folder. Here you can add a folder location you always want to save to. So next time you have a document open and select save, it will always go to this file location, saving you time as you won't have to search for that particular location. I hope you found this video useful and if you have please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel more content on what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2019.